Robert F. Stroud. Breaking that train window was a serious offense. It was hot. I was thinking of my lungs. Did you think about the possible consequences? You might have started a riot. Even a convict's got a right to breathe. Right? I don't think you know the meaning of the word. In 1909 in Alaska, you appointed yourself judge, jury, and executioner and killed one Charles Donner because he allegedly beat up a friend named Katie Malone, a prostitute. Stroud, you were transferred here to Leavenworth because of an inferior record. Now, I propose to give you a fresh start. Such rights as you will enjoy are listed here in my rules and regulations. There are 86 of them. I suggest you memorize them. I know them. They're the same in all pens. They tell you when to eat, when to sleep, when to go to the privy. Precisely. And what you'll do for every minute, 24 hours a day. You're going to be here for nine long years, Stroud. So with or without your cooperation, I intend to make a man of you before you check out these gates. You'll conform to our ideas of how you should behave. You'll learn the lesson now, or you'll learn it five years from now, but you'll learn. For breaking that train window, all your privileges are suspended for 30 days. That's all, Mr. Ransom. Let's go.